Okay, so by the time you guys see this video, sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, by the time you guys see this video, I will have already been moved. So I feel comfortable enough to share my story and my experiences and say specific details because I am now in a different location. Not to say my location will change the safety of what I've been going through. And also, you guys should know that no matter where you are, no matter what you do, no matter who you are, the same thing can happen to you. So I'm kind of going to give you guys tips, tricks, and things to do to make yourself safe and secure. So first of all, the kitchen floor will be no more. So I just want to say, a good riddance to all the drama including this recent drama of my hundred thousand dollar plus Lamborghini being stolen which is not a big deal I have other cars it's just money it's just a car it's not a big deal the only big deal is the violation the fact that we saw someone steal it that like there was a lot that happened with it so I'm gonna say good riddance to that I'm gonna say good riddance to pretty much any drama on the kitchen floor I will no longer be sitting on the kitchen floor in my new house in fact I will have lots and lots of furniture to sit on and it'll be a new chapter a new start I'm gonna be doing my podcast in there I'm going to be doing new videos positive videos creative videos and um yeah so we're saying goodbye to that we're saying goodbye to all my boyfriend dramas obviously the kitchen floor was created with my first ex-boyfriend well not my first ex-boyfriend but my first ex-boyfriend that I did a kitchen floor video about which was Sean so I love him so much I wish him nothing but the best so I'm going to give positive vibes as I am getting off the kitchen floor and on to something else. I also want to say positive vibes to Jason and David. Obviously, two people I've made lots of kitchen floor videos about. I truly, truly, truly wish them the best. I'm, I, I would say I'm over the situation. It sucks. The whole thing sucks. I still don't think I was completely in the wrong about things, but gotta just keep moving forward. And as I'm clearing out my life and clearing out my things, I really do wish them nothing but the best and positivity. In, in, uh, in life and then um, other kitchen floor chronicles just me crying I have a therapist now that I see twice a week so I will just be continuing with that rather than doing this not to say I'm not gonna be crying emotional but I just have been granted this new lease on life with this new outlook on life especially since my car has been stolen so let me just get to that which is my Lamborghini has been stolen so about a week ago over a week ago when I was in Vegas for my wedding um, we came back from the weekend on Sunday and Monday morning my sister came to help me get ready to do out my hair she was gonna help me pack because we had to go to Pennsylvania the next day my sister like looked over I, my cars are parked in a tandem spot so I had my pink g-wagon and my orange and my parked in a tandem spot the pink g-wagon has been dead for quite some time um, basically I haven't driven it because it's too flashy, it's too much attention. I just, I never liked it because people would always be waiting by the car. I always felt like something bad would happen because, not bad necessarily, just like I just don't want that attention. I wanted no attention on that car. Same thing with my orange and bikini. I just recently got it started again. My sister got it fixed for me and I started driving it once a week. So I recently got it started again. So it was in the garage, my parking garage. Now, the place I live where I'm moving and I'm going to just say the name because like there's been so many issues with this place and it's a completely overpriced the place I live I started paying about $8,000 rent my last payment my last rent payment this past month was $10,000 so I went up to about $10,000 keep in mind when I moved in at $8,000 I do live in a penthouse so I have like three bedrooms three baths it's really really nice it had great amenities it has a pool a gym at the time I moved in it had a back guard security a front guard security and just security for call 24 hours well, about a year ago, they just took the security guard away and started building one that you, is an automatic gate that you just need something to, like, come into the building with. Well, obviously, I wouldn't have moved. The reason, the irony of me moving into this, in this place was the security factor. Like, I liked how secure it was. But the irony of it, I've had neighbor a neighbor make death threats to me and my boyfriend at the time and they did not take it seriously I still have the emails about it I even told the cops the other day when I was talking to them about my my car and they're like well then I'm like well they just said there's nothing they can do it's like my word against his and they're like yeah there's everything they can do they can evict him you know what I mean so it's just been a lot there was cockroaches I didn't care of their aunt situation I had literal like mold or like I don't know stuff coming out of my shower like there was just like so much stuff on top of packages being stolen and not being reimbursed people trying to like open my uh like door my front door at all hours of the night they changed from a key a lock and key to a a key code where you put your hand over it which can be easily hacked they just changed so much a lot of cars have been broken into and a lot of cars the, the day before my car was stolen my makeup artist said hey i see i saw someone like speed out this was like five in the morning on the friday after halloween november 1st he's like i saw someone speed out of the parking garage and it looked like another person had kicked the window from the inside out so like someone was in the car kicked the window from the inside out because i don't know if we should call the security or the police i didn't see it we called security i don't know if they did anything i was off to vegas 
Well, Saturday was the day it all happened. So, anyways, Monday, my sister looked over, saw my orange car was gone. She was, where's your Lamborghini? And she just said it so casually as if I, like, parked it at someone else's house or I left it on the streets or whatever. And she's like, where's your Lamborghini? And originally I wasn't going to tell the story because, like, the cops and stuff were like, we don't want, like, vigilantes out there. We don't want people, like, just taking it upon themselves if they see my car to stop these people or whatever. So, I, so, okay, anyways. So... I wasn't gonna talk about this and I did talk about it right away and I was like really really stressful because like of course I want people to know about it like I see a lot of people who have had thefts or break-in or like um just other horrible things happen like H3 I talked about something horrible that happened to them and it's just a really scary thing to talk about because if you talk about it you give other people ideas if you talk about it it could piss people off but at the same time it's good to be aware of these things for me I've learned a very important lesson a couple of important lessons one Material cars, extra cars, they're just stuff I don't need. Flashy cars is stuff I don't need. I had a pink G-Wagon and an orange Lamborghini. My pink G-Wagon was actually smashed in, and my orange Lamborghini was completely stolen from my apartment complex. A $150,000 car or $100,000 car, whatever it's valued at now, was stolen from my complex. And they really didn't have anything to, they had nothing to really say to me. In fact, while I went to go complain to the manager that day and to get the security footage with the cops, the manager, I was like, Hyster I was like shivering I was like shaking I was like seeing this person because we caught the person who stole the thing he was like on the camera like he went in and out of the apartment complex multiple times he probably was a resident here because he knew to go on the resident side like as I'm like shaking and like oh my god I don't know who this person is the security guard here is telling us you probably know that person I'm like I definitely don't know that person other witnesses had seen them on the curb all of this stuff and then my manager just like you have really great nails I was like, that's all you have to say? Like, what the hell? Like, you know what I mean? Like, a $150,000 car has just been stolen from here. An orange, bright-ass Lamborghini has been stolen. And they did not seem concerned whatsoever. Um, they were just telling the cops, like, she probably knows the person. No, like, we saw the person, like, get in. Someone just let someone in through the gate. Like, our gates are always open. Like, even today, coming in, my mom, my sister, they're like, the gates were completely wide open. Like, it's just, it's just one of those things that are completely, it's completely just not secure. For, so, for $10,000 a month, do you think I'd have security? Well... So basically, we had to file a police report. That took up my entire Monday. I was like shaken. I was so shaken I didn't even stay here because it was just so weird. Like, did the guy live here? He ended up going up in the elevator. I don't know where he went. Did he live here? Was he trying to get to my apartment? Like, I don't know. I don't know if it was like targeted towards me or random or what, but it was it was definitely scary. And like I said, again, the story is not about my car. It's not about the money. It's not about any of that stuff because like stuff is just stuff. Obviously, it's more of a violation and it's more of like, what did this person want? Like, why do people do this? Like that kind of stuff. So basically we filed a police report and there was really nothing else we could do we were just hoping obviously that's what insurance is for so like that we we're just hoping they find the car and hopefully the guy and just i don't know just figure it out well i guess this is a good thing about being on social media there's pros and cons about being on social media obviously you know cons are people like knowing your every detail the pros people knowing your every detail so this guy dm'd me monday night after it was the night i got into pennsylvania it's so like early Tuesday morning and said, hey, I bought your Lamborghini. And I was like, I was so shook. And right away, I didn't know if I should respond or not, but right away I responded and I was like, well, that was stolen. So a couple things. Right away, I obviously had the detectives and all the police officers' information. And I just sent them all these DMs and screenshots of this guy because I didn't know if this guy was in on it. I don't know if he was completely innocent or what, but he basically said he bought it. I'm pretty sure my gut is telling me he was he was just scammed. Basically, he saw the car on offer up and the guy sold it under the guise that I guess he knew me. I think that's how it went because obviously the guy who bought the car knew me and obviously was like, hey, like, he had a bill of sale and like all this stuff which was obviously fake so he was like i just thought it was like legit and he gave him cash for it now i again my gut is telling me this guy is sincere he did have the car he showed me the video of it obviously i called the cops i wasn't in town so i sent someone else to go get the car for on my behalf and the cops were there they swabbed the guy they swabbed down the car and everything like that now there's a lot of details that i don't really need, i don't really feel too comfortable sharing other than other than just, like, I mean, there's there's only so much you can do, right? There's only so much you can do. You can, you can, I, I took precautions into moving into a secure building, but getting an alarm on your car will severely help. My pink car has an alarm on it, so part of me thought maybe they were trying to steal that car as well, but because the battery was dead and there was an alarm off, they got spooked. So having alarms on your house and in your car, I think is going to help, if anything, making it less easy, making it more difficult, bring more attention, because this happened on a Saturday at noon. 
bring, putting cars. So there's no cameras in my complex, like where the cars are. So if you have very nice cars or just cars in general that you don't want stolen, put cameras on there. Cameras, alarms, and all that. Obviously, make sure you have insurance. Like that's what insurance is for. But again, it's a it's a violating thing. It's a violation thing. Another thing is to not flash so much on social media. And I this is something that I really like. It really bothers me. Not not bothers me, but it's something that like I really love doing. I've always loved showing off the stuff that I've worked really hard for and being proud of your cars. And there's nothing wrong with that. And everybody does that. Everyone flexes when they get a new car. But you best believe I'm trading. I'm selling all my cars. I'm trading them all in. I probably only get one, maybe two, but probably just one at the moment because I'm so over like this 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 thing but um you know just try and be as low-key as possible yes it's fun to show off on social media and stuff and even when you go on vacation like here's the thing when i travel i love to show that i'm traveling and like that's just one thing that i feel like i won't be able to give up but having cameras having it constantly recorded having motions sensor cameras to go straight to your phone if you are out of town you know please call having someone house it having someone that's close by just to check in on your house or if something does happen they're able to come all of that above and the cars and all that situation would be obviously very beneficial because i was just like it's just not realistic to say don't post when you're on vacation they always say wait to come back but it's just not realistic however flexing and stuff online is definitely something that i feel like a lot of people should just not do including myself um i feel like because recently i started like i guess more so flexing my lamborghini i feel like maybe that was a thing however a little update to this case my neighbor saw the same people again in this area so car was stolen i recently found out too a week prior to mine cars have been broken into for as long as i've lived here so i think it's just this area this is the palazzo west and the area is like west la kind of close to west hollywood but it's overall like cops told me this was like an indian burial ground basically there's like a lot of shady stuff that happens it is la it's a big city bad stuff happens everywhere it happens in Colorado it happens in Nebraska like stuff happens where was the in cold blood that was like Missouri or something like some bad stuff happens everywhere so I'm not trying to like scare people but it is definitely good to take precautions no matter where you live and no matter who you are because this stuff just happens um so try not to like flex as much I feel like that's something I had to learn that's like a lesson that I'm like now whatever next car I'm gonna get I am not going to be like look at this car you know what I mean I think that just gives a little bit more flash possess now did i think my orange lamborghini would ever be stolen no that's a very obvious car so um basically <laughs> sorry i'm getting distracted i have lots of friends here helping me move thank god i know my movers took break so i'm like i need to get a one last kitchen floor video in and this is it so so basically um the one kitchen floor video to go out on my freaking lamborghini being stolen that is a freaking that that's a that's a kitchen floor video um so I was dealing with the cops and all that stuff like that. Anyways, the kid is telling the truth. He did have the car. He had possession of the car. I think he might have lived with his parents. I think his parents thought it was kind of weird that he got a Lamborghini for so cheap. I felt really bad for the kid. The thing is, I am not really allowed to communicate with him. The cops were like, don't talk to him. Like, you know, just in general. Just, I think while the investigation's going on, like, it's just better not to. But I felt really bad. And I guess that's my other little, like lesson to this story like if something's too good to be true it probably is like if you think you're getting like a pretty nice lamborghini that is one hundred fifty thousand dollars and someone's gonna sell it to you for twenty thousand dollars like chances are it's probably too good to be true it might be stolen it might be you know what i mean there's probably just like so many options that it's, if something's too good to be true it probably is especially if he knew it was mine and i wasn't the one selling it or it's not at a dealership because a word to the wise like if you have a nice car i have lots of nice cars i always sell them to a dealership for them to sell it um it's very rare that you'll find someone like by owner at least that is how it is in la um also if your neighbors are threatening you you they can get evicted and i had multiple people in here have something similar very happen happen to them and it was really really scary living here and like for the majority of my last year here i had a boyfriend so i was staying at his house most of the time so i didn't feel that weirded out about it but now i like feel really weird out about it and everything and just just the whole energy and that really is what comes down to it if there's some bad energy or if you feel weird about it or your safety money all that stuff is not important luxury is not important like go somewhere safe go somewhere you feel good that you know people are around i call my friend to come stay with me you know what i mean like it's good to have people around to have people you can count on my family's moving closer to me so we're all closer together so there's just like safety and numbers in general right um obviously getting all the security in the world like all the lasers and all that stuff like that that can call the cops and stuff but um but again it's just material stuff and like the cop said is like if you ever get a car stolen and you end up finding it or seeing it like they told me if i ever saw it on the street or something or someone else did to not approach it it's just a car call it in like 
my neighbors have been really actually cool. Some of my neighbors here that I never met before have come up to me and had like footage. Two different people, two different witnesses saw this. Some someone saw it up close and someone saw it from far away. And it just um, it feels it it was just nice to know that like people are on the lookout. So on that note too, if you see something suspicious, it's always better to be safe than sorry. And by recording it or calling the cops, even if it's not a suspicious situation, at least you call the cops and it's like it's better safe than sorry. Um, so basically we did end up recovering the car and getting the car back. I am selling it. I do not want the car. I don't want the energy of it. I'm also selling my pink car and I'm going through a dealer. I am not going to be selling it by owner. I just, I don't know. It all feels like kind of weird. I don't want the attention. I don't want flash. Even my white Mercedes, I'm going to probably trade in at some point. Um, I mean, I'm really, really busy now moving, but um, but yeah, I'm kind of just over material stuff. I mean, I love buying stuff. I love shopping, but it's just not worth it. It's just not, I don't know. And also at the end of the day, it doesn't make me happy. And what makes me happy, I realize, is like my friends and my family and like, I don't know, doing creative stuff that fulfills me, like my music and stuff like that. It's not about how many purses I have because we're packing stuff up and I'm just like, the purses are giving me anxiety. I was like, why did I spend all my money on this stuff that's giving me anxiety? It's just cluttering my mind and my heart. So that's kind of it. That's kind of the wrap up. I think a lot of people were asking because I had mentioned a couple of times that police had come to my house. That's kind of what had what was happening. So um, I want to thank also to the cops. I feel like they give get kind of a bad rap, but they were really really helpful. They they did checkups. They they made sure to let me know all my like resources and stuff like that. So I really really do appreciate the cops right now. Um, obviously I even thought like the person who stole my car like I didn't know him um I just saw him on the thing and like you know he obviously sold it so my 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 thing is like I don't know it sucks it sucks when people steal cars but I always kind of feel bad for that like that they're in that position that they have to do that but it, it's it's not like I hate them or like anything I just I just want to like you know keep myself safe I want you guys to keep yourself safe too and I think like there's a lot of things I've been watching online about car thieves, like people who like, have gone to prison and like will say like little nuances about like how to keep your car safe. Let me ask my sister really. Callie. Yeah? What was that thing you said about car thieves? Like they, they gave advice. They said something. You remember that like... Oh, it was a retired criminal that would steal cars, but it was just an article. What, but what did he say like to watch out for? Don't leave your spare keys in your car. Don't have valuables laying around. Oh yeah, that was like the other thing. It's like so obviously my mine my, my windows were smashed in my G wagon. Like I don't know if they were trying to steal it. Like it just didn't start because the battery was dead, or they were trying to steal stuff inside. So obviously, and I just saw Remy Ashton actually. She talked about this. She just got her car broken into, and they stole like her sunglasses. I saw Gabby got her credit card stolen at bottle service. Like this stuff happens to anyone anywhere. But just don't keep valuables, don't keep spare keys in there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know, there's a lot of stuff you could probably read and watch to keep yourself safe. It's also like you can't live in fear. That's the other thing, like you can't live in fear. Life happens, shit happens. Um, but definitely take extra precaution to look out. The other thing about my complex is they sent out a security notice the day we realized my car was stolen. So I don't know if that other car that was stolen prompted that, but basically they're not telling anybody here that my car was stolen. So I'm like making this to be like, hey, to my complex, I told everyone I know my car was stolen, and that was it. But anyways, all right, I'm going to go. I I need to go help pack and be productive, so I love you guys. Stay safe. This is my last kitchen floor video. It's very fitting. There's, like, I'm not even facing the proper way. I'm facing my boxes, so um, I'm moving. Yay to new beginnings. Yay to new energies and stuff like that, and just um, keep yourself safe and keep your belongings safe and try and just live a simpler life. That's what I'm trying to do. If I can, we'll see how long that lasts. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my new place. Bye, guys. There's no glass. There is glass. Okay, 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 okay. Shh, it's okay, it's okay. Did they break my G wagon? No. Okay, Callie, it's okay. It's right there. Film that. Take pictures here. Here, let me see your phone. Wow. Let me see your phone. My window is busted in.
And they were just parked in front of the school? Yeah. They had the convertible down? No. Oh, I was going to say that's pretty cool. But that's also weird. It just... I know. Yeah. And they look right at me. I, I remember looking right really? You said, what street was it on? It was on. It was so on. when you come out and you make a 